Everybody, it's a late evening. Me and Kira are out here right now. We are working with these Harbor Freight frames. You know these carport things, carport canopies. Um, I got a few of these, and I bought them for 79 bucks a piece. I got a pile of them sitting over here. We've got a garden for her going on. This is her onion patch. She loves to grow them, and she has an area right here of 26. Uh, by a, almost a hundred, right? 90, something right. like that. Yes. Now, what we've got here is we've got this. This is my back 40 back here. Uh, it goes on quite a ways, but this is where we're working at now. A bunch of construction trash back there, old tanks. We got a new tank here, big 2,500 gallon. Um, mm -hmm. So what you get in central Texas out here. So what we've done is we've taken this Harbor Freight frame and we shortened it down to five foot sections. And what this is for is we're going to have eighth inch galvanized screen down in the ground and coming up because this is a rattlesnake area and yes, and, the rabbits will eat your and your rabbits will clean you out and the deer will run you over so we have fences out here for six foot deer fence um and she has an internal for the uh the crickets and the grasshoppers and things like that as well as the rabbits and some things like this one looks like a coyote yeah, that's right, run you little half-breed. So, <laughs> so we get this Harbor Freight frame and we have screwed it together but shortened it 58 and a half inch pieces. So these, these sections right here will be 58 and a half inches and we put screws in them, put them on the inside so that the mesh can go over this whole thing. This entire section here with some more pieces going down, it will be completely meshed in all the way, air everything. And what I'm showing you here is we've got one of them set up. Now, this is just to show you. Let me get over here how flimsy these really are. And I'm sure you know if you've had these frames. So we have the Harbor Freight frame that look at the gaps. Look at the huge gap. Look at the, uh, you know, small, pretty much no account welds, not important. But it is strong enough if you shorten these. And I recommend if you're gonna buy one of these Harbor Freight frames that you shorten them. It's the canopy, 20 foot by 10 foot, or I guess it's 10 six, 10 foot six. So if you shorten these, they'll be a lot stronger. So buy two kits, that way you get two tarps and you get these and cut these down to 58 inches, sorry, 58 and a half. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this section here and you're gonna bolt it. This is why it's 58 and a half because of this space. You're gonna bolt it to this one in the center. So you'll have double sets of legs going down. And that way, that way what you end up with is you end up with a much, Especially much stronger result. Kind of and your tarps won't sag in the middle because the spacing, see, is so much less. And structurally, this will handle snow. We did this in Twin Falls, Idaho, and tell you what, it really handled a good foot and a half of snow without collapsing, even though that's all it is, is this. Cover Pro portable car canopy. All right, now, I'm sure a lot of people wondered, is, is Pokey dead, am I dead? No, I'm still around. We have more of these, we have a pile of them over there. And all of them I bought at a big discount. So let me run over here and show you what I've been up to, other than being gone, putting in trenches for water pipes. Um, a lot of work, so let me get over here. All right, so over here, big carport. Got solar going on the roof, got some up here, not very much. And um, we've been gone. I have not been here, I haven't been able to do a whole lot, but I have been able to build. This, this was an 18 by 18 carport that got, uh, let's see if you can see it up there, stretched out a little bit. <laughs> so 15 inches each time, so it gives us a grand total of a 20 and a half foot um, carport. And then, of course, I'm building that further out, right out there, so that I can have more solar. I've got Steon panels that go up here. I'll explain that in a minute, okay? Now, Kira's back over here, and this is the battery bank. Now, we've had solar hooked up to it for a while. There's a couple of six-gauge wires here. We only was putting in, what was it, uh, 800 watts? 800 watts to maintain this battery bank that is now um, 
four months old. So um, I got that that very end. This is like the 22nd of uh, October that we bought these batteries. And I've kept them maintained. Their water's fine. They're, they're good. They're 10-year battery. So here's the battery bank sitting there with a charger on it right now plugged into, yes, the utility. Just for a little while until I get this part back up. But that little controller took a dump. Um, so we got solar sitting on the roof doing nothing. Uh, I spent time in the hospital. I spent time gone a lot, didn't I, Kara? Yes. Yes. Um, paying a lot of bills off and working my ass off and then spending time in the hospital. Yes. So I'm not dead, guys. That sound like it. Uh, setting out on big, huge cinder blocks with these are uh, uh, bolted in, filled, and they're capable. And you're looking at about, I don't know, 2,500 pounds weight there. All right. So got my old little trailer I built down here. Piles and piles. I mean, I'm, I'm a millionaire. Look at this. This is this is amazing. These are two by eights, 20 footers. I am rich nowadays. So, okay. Some more crazy crap. There's my boardy collies. There's Mr. Preston. There is four, and Emma is in there sleeping. She's 14 and a half. People who watch my channel know her. All right. Sitting in here, 60 amp MPPTs. That one I'm trying out, but it's really the same as all of these. 40 amp MPPT. So this is all polycrystalline and monocrystallines, and these are all uh, amorphous steons. Y'all gonna get to see more of them. Here is a 4,000, sorry, 4,000 watt, 240 volt. This one here is a 3,000 watt, 110 volt. This one will run all the security systems and everything, and it is a 2,200 watt power bright that's about six years old, and I did not give it up at all. This is a controller similar to the one that took a dump made by the same brand. This one's the good one. <laughs> you can look under my videos, any of my videos, and see links to a lot of these things. This one's taking a lot of abuse, but the one that's more square like this with the little vents in the top, get away from it. it uh, that's what crapped out out there. All right, so we have three, three batteries sitting in here, and it's like, well, you got all those batteries out there. Well, believe it or not, these batteries are nothing but just spares that came out of an RV. They're practically brand new. Um, look at the years on them they're right there. So they're, they're fairly new. And I just decided to put them down here, link them in with a one of these. You see that? So what they'll do is they'll act like my all my DC lighting. So this is all my DC lighting. Every bit of it goes through those, and that's it. The rest of the batteries come through here with a massive, massive three strands of three aught running back to the battery bank to those red ones. And over here, it'll be two strands of two aught because it runs this off of the older batteries. And that's the ones that I'll be able to replace easy because there's only eight <laughs> versus 24. And that'll be running this through this with uh, a amorphous panels. Um, what is it? Eight 135 watt panels. So, all right, now, look at the mess. It's kind of an update video. Okay? Look at the mess. You guys have probably missed my crazy ass, but this was a very large shell of a building, and it's all done none, up. None of this was here. None of this was here. Every bit of this is built. Every bit of this is built. There is a house going through there. That's our house. It's four-bedroom, two-bath house. Here's a shop, and... Yeah, I agree. It's a pigsty. So down here, all these pretty tables I built, kind of nice. Back here is just parts, 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 parts. I mean, let's see here. My wind turbine fans cook. Look at this stuff. I didn't think I had any more of these left. These are controllers. Lots of controllers. Lots of, even the first ones I ever had and made are the Olympic power controls. You see right there, that's me, Olympic power controls. And I'll be probably doing a little raffle thing or something for some guys who want some of these. And that would include tons of SSRs, uh, solid state relays, terminal kits, tons of, I wonder where that came from, tons of, look at this. I have a whole, I mean, I didn't even know what I had down there in uh, my place. Lots of ohmites, lots of standard roll-ups, just a lot of things. And I'll put together people, complete kits for your wind turbines, and we're going to be doing that soon, too. Look at this here. I think I ain't in the wind turbine get gig. <laughs> All right, so this is just everything, everything, everything we could bring in here 
Um, and then this is an, an RV door. And it takes you out here into the shop. Let's see here. So, damn, that's not very bright, is it? So, there it is. Big, huge shop. This is, uh, where we are here, 21 feet. And then I total frame up. Upstairs, back walls, you name it. Big, huge Winnebago, 1972. Um, as is original. So, um, fifth wheel. You know, they didn't make those according to Winnebago. That's funny, I got one. All right, so back in here. Long video, lots of fun. Um, we got Thor again, scratching himself. Preston laughing at him. We got uh, Kara's gun. There's a last video I did was of her getting one that was used, and we're going to be doing something about that right there. She wants y'all to see her, and she has been nailing squirrels. We've got a lot of pecan trees. I think like 20 of them out here. Um, all the rest of it, tool sets, currently a curtain and then a not an insulated door. The door that's out there now I have not insulated, but it's a big four and a half foot door so that this table can go outside in the workshop area. But what do you guys think? Put your comments below. I am so sorry I haven't made a lot of videos, but you know what? When you got hoses and tubes stuck in you and they're telling you, you're going to die. <laughs> You, you'd, you'd take in other priorities and YouTube just honest to God ain't one but I worry about a lot of people are always asking me questions about RV heaters solar power wind power and I like to share what I know so here's what we're working with you're going to see these big massive copper bus bars coming in soon we're going to hook all this up probably in what a week Kira yeah. and there you go um, me and Kira built this table I put some pictures in there but she didn't uh she never hung around for a picture and that's all of our most most we got a lot of them outside working but all the chargers boxes and boxes and you know parts junk crap um everywhere you name it, four or five welders under there a lot of cabinets a lot of cabinets they're full of stuff i'll make somebody happy i'll make y'all look at that i'll make y'all some parts if y'all hit the right thanks button down there and help me with that, we'll work on somebody's wind turbine controller. I might make two or three of them and mail them out. You can get a Comanche, Texas address when you get it back. So, all right, guys, here we go. Work, work, work. Check this out. I paid $400 for this seven years ago. What do you think that's worth today? Today's world. Huh? 22 gauge metal studs made in America. These are from the uh, 19, what, 70s? <laughs> That's a lot. All right, y'all be good. We got work to do over here. Daniel's out here doing the work right now. He's picking this damn cleachy rock out of the ground to put the post in. That kit gonna be shrunk down to fit like the other one. And the rest of them, one after another and then fully enclosed, and then five and a half, six foot of fenced in chicken wire style around the outside because these damn deer come in here like freaking mad rapid dogs. So, all right, and Kira might have to start doing deer patrol. So she shoots the squirrels, you know, and rabbits and chicken hawks. So we're gonna keep working on this. Look for more videos very soon, very soon. Wind turbines, solar power, and I've got all new RV heaters and uh, cooling units we're going to be installing on some projects too y'all be good right daniel yeah. yeah damn he got big didn't he